Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. You guys are currently looking at Big Rami the Wednesday before the Arnold Classic. These images are courtesy of his coach, Chad Nichols. And taking a close look at these two shots, Rami looked pretty impressive before the show. And if I would have seen these updates prior to the Arnold Classic, I would have still had Big Rami in second, maybe even pushing to put him for the win. But as we know, Big Rami did not win the 2023 Arnold Classic. He didn't even place in the top three. But one of my subscribers did send me a HD video of Big Rami, and I'm going to play it for you guys today. I personally feel like Big Rami is getting a little bit too much criticism. This guy is a former two-time Mr. Olympia champion, and just in 10 weeks from the Mr. Olympia, Rami brought a crazy improved package. His triceps are still lacking, but they are improved. Posing is improved, quads improved, back improved, but no one talks about that. Everyone just talks about how Big Rami should retire. And you guys let me know in the comment section below, what are your thoughts on Big Rami's physique at this 2023 Arnold Classic? He could have been a touch sharper. I believe he came in too full to try to hide some of those weaknesses. And we can still slightly see the knots on the glutes. But I thought this was a great package from Rami, and I think he deserved to get compared a little bit more. I'm not saying he should have moved up. Now let's switch over to Nick Walker. This news is courtesy of buys and tries. Nick Walker released a statement after placing second at the Arnold Classic. We came in better than the O, improved in all areas we wanted to improve on. I'm really happy with the package we brought. Came up a little short, but you know how I do when I lose, I only come back better. And I think Nick Walker will improve going into the 2023 Mr. Olympia. Even though Nick plays second in this lineup, I don't think this is a guy you should count out. I think Nick came in a little bit too sharp. He was rumored to be seven or eight pounds down from the Mr. Olympia. And I think that full look really helped him out a lot. But Nick went against some very structurally gifted guys at the Arnold Classic. And there's only so much he can do with his structure. But if Nick can add more sweep to the quads, it will be a huge help to his physique. I believe it will help his overall flow and will also make his waist look a little bit smaller with the illusion. Now let's switch over to his Camp Jansen teammate. Sean Clarita. These images of Sean were taken going into the Arnold Classic, and if people would have seen these, they probably would have moved Sean up on their prediction list. Now, when I was watching the live stream, Sean did look a little bit off. I couldn't see too much detail, but let me know in the comment section below if you were actually at the Olympia. Did Sean look this impressive on stage? But taking fifth in this very competitive lineup, Sean Clarita is still the giant killer. And even though Sean plays very well in this Arnold Classic lineup, his goal is to build a legacy in the 212 division, so I think he will be staying there. Now let's switch over to Patrick Moore. I really love this post from Patrick from the Legion Sports Fest to the Arnold Classic. Patrick actually plays dead last at this show. He was robbed, guys. No way Justin Rodriguez or Kamal L. Gardney should have beat Patrick Moore. Patrick placing 10th was probably the biggest robbery of this show but he definitely improved from the Legion Sports Fest. Patrick has the right mindset. Even though he plays last, he improved on his last showing, and that's what you want to do at the end of the day. And we will see Patrick on stage again in just 12 weeks. Now let's switch over to Derek Lonsford. I believe this update was actually taken by Nick Strength and Power. He did a prejudging video with Derek Lonsford and Honey Rambot. Derek is looking crazy in this update. Would have been great to see him in that lineup. Derek probably would have walked away with the title, but his eyes are focused on that Mr. Olympia title. He's only one spot away. Derek needs no distractions. He's trying to improve as much as he possibly can going into this 2023 Mr. Olympia. Now, switching over to Classic Physique. Erz Kalasinski was actually in the hospital five days out from the Arnold Classic with food poisoning. And by the way, this image is courtesy of Buys and Tries over on Instagram. But Erz's message was, you will face obstacles, but you do have the power to overcome them. Erz was in the hospital five days out from the show, and I personally believe he brought his all-time best to the Arnold Classic, and a few bodybuilding YouTube channels actually had Erz Kalasinski winning the show, one of my favorite guys in the Classic Physique division. Now let's switch over to Phil Heath, who was at the Arnold Classic this weekend, but he wasn't competing. Phil posted this up not too long ago, looking absolutely massive, and if you guys watch the channel, you've been here for a while, I hate the narrative when people say this guy's coming back. If you just search on YouTube, Phil Heath comeback, you'll probably see 500 videos and Phil Heath still has not come back. One of my favorite bodybuilders of all time, however. Every time you click on a Go Fitness video, you start off with Phil Heath, 2011 Mr. Olympia. Now let's switch over to three very large bodybuilders. From left to right, we have Hunter Labrada, Brett Wilkin, and James Hollingshead. And it almost looks like James didn't want to take this photo, like someone almost pushed him over there. But Hunter and Brett are definitely in better off-season condition than James. Hunter is eating more of his meals. I'm really looking forward to seeing him on stage this year. I really think Hunter gets a little bit too much criticism as well. He has a pretty balanced physique. 
Brett Wilkin is already qualified for the 2023 Mr. Olympia. His goal is to improve this offseason. James Hollingshead, he's rumored to be taking a full year off from bodybuilding. I'm not exactly sure why. And in the next update of the day, we have a recent update from Carlos Thomas Jr., the winner of the 2021 NPC Nationals. And Carlos will be competing in the New York Pro this year, making his pro debut. Take a look at those arms. And this post is courtesy of Bodybuilders Without Borders on Instagram. And in the comment section, they said expect Carlos to be 20 pounds heavier. I think that'll be very interesting. This guy's already a freak. Now switching over to Classic Physique, we have a recent update from Robert Timms one of the best upper bodies in the classic physique division. And he said a few weeks ago he was in prep, but has yet to announce a show. If I had to guess, I would go with the New York Pro. And Robert definitely hears the comments about how he needs to bring the legs up. And I'm pretty sure he's doing everything in his power to make that happen. But him and AJ Sims don't really focus on the comments. They just keep churning. And in the last update of the day, I did want to discuss the top two in men's physique at the 2023 Arnold Classic. On the left is the champion, Aaron Banks, also reigning Olympia champion, back-to-back -back Arnold Classic champion. And on the right was second place, Diogo Montenegro, who was third at the Mr. Olympia and third at last year's Arnold Classic. I really like Diogo's look this year, especially from the front. I feel like he's more balanced, but he doesn't have this same crazy ab separation as Aaron Banks. And Aaron also has those crazy shoulders. I feel like they overpower the front shots a little bit, but he still takes Diogo. And from the back, there's going to be Aaron Banks all day. I believe this guy has the best back in men's physique division history, even though this division has only been around for about seven to eight years, maybe. But as always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see me talk about anything from the 2023 Arnold Classic. And the archive of the day will be back in maybe one or two days. But I'm Krishan from Goat Fitness, and that's it. I'm out.